So, who would like to start? Mr. Barnes, why does Sam aggravate you? 15 seconds to drop. So what's our plan? Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking Falcon, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But before we get into that, just a quick reminder. Uh, in a couple days of this recording, I'm going to be changing the name of the channel. Um, kind of explained in past videos already, but uh, just for... Uh, future opportunities that will probably be prevented to me with staying with this title of the channel uh, that's why I also want to remind you guys we're on the road to 25 subscribers only five away hit that red subscribe button down below like comment share all that beautiful YouTube stuff so we can keep growing as a channel but let's get into it, Falcon and the Winter Soldier TV show. It's going to come out March 19th, 2021. That's in a few weeks, again, at the time of this recording. Uh, we're currently in uh, the WandaVision stage of television. Uh, if you're not too familiar with who uh, those characters are, who's playing them, Anthony Mackie is playing Falcon slash Sam Wilson. Uh, we have Sebastian Stan playing Bucky Barnes slash Winter Soldier. We have Emily Van Camp playing Sharon Carter. Daniel Grawl playing Helmut Zemo. There's a little accent above the U in his name. B-R-U-H-O. Uh, let's see, White Russell is playing Johnny Walker, slash U.S. agent. Uh, there's this one actress that seems, uh, that's gonna get some screen time, Erin Kellyman. Kellyman. She seems to be part of the Flag Smashers group of that. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier are probably gonna wind up encountering for the six episodes that this is running. Uh, we do have some back and forth uh, with them in the trailer that's been released. Um, there was a newer trailer released uh, over Super Bowl weekend. Um, yeah, so, I mean, they do encounter uh, that group. In the comics, Flag Smasher was uh, one person. Uh, he was a citizen of no country. Uh, he went wherever he thought tyranny and, and, and evil was, uh, whether that be in America, Peru, uh, whatever other countries he thought. So that's why he was called Flag Smasher, because he would flat, smash all the flags. He didn't care. Kind of a doctor without borders, but a superhero without borders. That was his mentality, but uh, he was kind of an extreme character. And they're keeping with that extremeness of uh, this group. So that's the major difference. This time it's more of a group. Uh, or maybe she'll be the last surviving of the group and just keep the name Flag Smasher. Maybe. Uh, interesting stuff. Because um, it does go back into Captain American, uh, America lore with Steve Rogers. It's a very odd couple feel. Um, if you're not familiar with some famous uh, examples of the odd couple syndrome, there was a television show back in the 70s or 80s. Uh, there was a mov uh, movie that the show was based off, but the movie was back even further than the show, I think maybe the 50s or 60s. Or what have you, and it's basically what you think an odd couple would be, uh, whether it be uh, a, a, a neat freak and uh, a slob living together, or, or whatever you think the odd couple is, you know that type of thing. They are clashing 
But I, uh, meeting Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes are clashing throughout the trailer. They're probably going to clash throughout the show. But you yeah, have a sense they're probably going to wind up getting a mutual respect and bond for each other by the end of uh, the series. As we know, Steve Old Man Rogers wanted Cap to live on in Sam Wilson. He wasn't feeling that too much. I think Sam's not really uh, thinking he's up for the task. Uh, but I don't think Bucky exactly deserves it either. I don't think he's exactly up for the task. Um, the government tries to pick uh, the character Jack Daniels, U.S. agent, to be the new Captain America because the government feels that they own uh, the mantle of that. But Captain America is a mantle that's like Batman or like Superman or like Spider-Man. Uh, yes, we associate one person primarily with those titles, whether it be Peter Parker, uh, Bruce Wayne, Clark Kent, Steve Rogers, we know basically these are the primary uh, avatars, so to speak, of the mantle, but at the end of the day there's been a lot of Captain Americas. I know there was um, one or two Captain Americas after Steve Rogers during the 50s. Steve Rogers came back in 1963 in the comic books. Um, so I know there's uh, more to Captain America than even Steve Rogers and I'll get into maybe more of the history of the other Captain Americas uh, in a future episode if you guys are interested in that because uh, it is a pretty interesting dynamic, uh, Captain America lore. I, I love Captain America, as you can tell. <laughs> Um, you also have to remember in this show, like in this universe, Bucky is like essentially almost a hundred years old and Sam is what, 30, uh, however old, about 30, you know, give or take five years, you know, well, maybe not 25, but, uh, more, I would assume more like 30, 35 within that range. So there's a time lapse between them on how they view the world. Uh, what's happened to them. Uh, Bucky, Sam may have to try to remember that it wasn't always by hit. He was the guy that did a lot of these things, but it wasn't in his control. We also see them in the trailer in the city called Majapur. And uh, there's a scene in there where there's possible scroll skulls on a wall collected like trophy trophies. So I'm wondering if that's what that was or not. Uh, also, Zemo seems to be having to team up with Bucky and Falcon at some point, and that's who leads him to Magipur. In the Marvel U Universe, Magipur is like a den, a city, a den of criminals all living in a big city. Basically, whatever you want. Uh, if you ever heard of the, if you ever heard of Welcome to the Jungle. That's the city version of it. Welcome to Magipur. All your fantasies can be tickled in that uh, country or city. Um, that could be an X-Men reference. We could maybe, I would like to see, but probably not, a bartender by the name of Patch. And that happened to have been Wolverine at one point. He did own a club in Magipur one time as he was trying to get away from the X-Men, and he had some adventures there, so I'm wondering if, you know, you can maybe sneak them in there, but I think there's going to be some uh, characters getting s snuck into this series, but I don't want to misquote myself on them, so maybe I can research that too, uh, but yeah, I want to write that in. Uh, the big, funny, the funniest thing to me in the trailer so far was the staring contest between Bucky and Sam, and the, the therapist has to snap him out of it in a way, and you see uh, Falcon turn around, but you see Bucky still staring because, you know, of all that time being brainwashed, he, he can probably win any staring contest uh, that, that you, you 
put forth to him. You know, the staring contest champion, if you will, Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier. Um, and then she says, how old are you guys anyway? And again, Bucky is only like almost 100 years old, so, you know, it's, you're never too old to play a staring contest game to test your uh, machismo and uh, alpha dog status. But, um, yeah, so that's uh, the general gist and thoughts I've, I have with the, with the trailer. Uh, it seems like an interesting show. I can't wait to see it. It does seem to be a little bit more action-packed than the WandaVision show. Um, but th there's a different reason for that, and it doesn't make it better or different. I love WandaVision so much right now, and if this... If that shows any indi any indication on how this show is going to be, I think it's going to be uh, off the charts. The ax action looks good. Uh, you got Sharon Carter in there still too. Um, all the cap supporting cast, so to speak, that is left in the MCU is going to be in this show. And who's going to come forth as the new Captain America? I don't know. My money is on Sam Wilson. I think he is the more worthy um, candidate present to be Captain America. Uh, but let me know what you think down below. Uh, thanks for stopping by. And as always, peace, nippums. Is you ready? Okay. You say you ready. What are you doing? Whole squad ready. Ready. Are you having a staring you contest? Ready? Are you ready? Ready. ready? Is you ready? Just blank. Sweet Jesus. I mean, how old are you?